In the past, you have said worship requires a sacrifice. Can you explain that a little more, and where is this information found? Um, yeah, sure. Thanks. So, uh, a number of places in sacred scripture, as well, I think, as in the history of man's religious consciousness. So when you look out through, just let me start with the broad picture, and then I'll narrow it down. When you look at the history of religion across the world, not even just Christianity, not even the Abrahamic religions, but but all religion, you'll find that that impulse to offer sacrifice really lies at the at the the heart of man's religious experience, and that's something that Catholic theologians have remarked on when they talk about the act of Catholic worship according with the 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 the, the, the natural law that there's something intrinsic to the human person that we want to make contact with the divine we recognize that that costs us something. We can't just go about our daily life, as it were, and expect God to come swooping down to us. Like, there is a, uh, there is a, there, we have an investment in this, and that's the form that sacrifice takes, even though sacrifice is different in different religions and different cultures. So in, uh, uh, in sacred scripture, um, at, at all of the major turning points in man's relationship with God, from from Adam's expulsion from the garden all the way to the book of Revelation, sacrifice marks uh, these important transitions and these the establishment of a covenant and the recognition of God's honor uh, in his relationship to the people of God. Think about the book of Exodus. What is it that Moses said to Pharaoh? You've got to let us go so that we can take a journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord, Exodus chapter 3, right? And, and many, many, many times that, that demand is repeated. It is incumbent upon us, it is obligatory to us, mm-hmm. uh, that we should go out and offer sacrifices to the Lord. Now, that, that requirement for sacrifice is just as present to the New Testament Church, even after the sacrifice of Christ. So St. Paul writes in Romans chapter 12, Offer your bodies as living sacrifices. This is your spiritual act of worship. What it means to worship God is to offer a sacrifice of ourselves, which we are able to do by joining it to the sacrifice of Christ's body and blood in the Holy Mass. 